Sveiki, aš Guoda ir su jumis Laida į Eižę. Kaip ir kiekvieną pavasarį, Gėgužės 9 dieną Kaune vadau didžiosio salės vestibiliuje įvyko Azijos studijų diena. Renginio metu Azijos studijų studentai, absolventai, dėstytojai bei socialiniai partneriai dalinosi patirtimi ir idėjomis. Pranešimus skaitė politikos, viešojo sektorius ir kultūrinio organizacijų atstovai. Indonezijos ambasadorius profesoras Bomeras Pasaribu, Budungo technologijų instituto rektorius profesorius daktaras Akmaloka. Besivystančius Lietuvos santykius Azijos šalimis pristatė Japonijos ambasadorio Kazuko Ishiraishi. Trumpai ją pakalbinome. You have been in Lithuania since 2012. Uh, what were your main goals and priorities back then and have they changed at all? We have that very flagship project that is the Saginas nuclear power plant. And uh, it was uh, two years ago, a uh, Japanese company, Hitachi, was uh, nominated as uh, the strategic partner of the, uh, this Saginas nuclear power plant. And uh, we, uh, Japan, I, not only Hitachi, but also the Japanese government would like to contribute to the uh, security, the, uh, uh, energy security, energy independence in Lithuania. So we would like to contribute to uh, that goal, uh, the, uh, providing that the Japanese advanced technology in Lithuania. I would like to emphasize that we, Japan and Lithuania, share the common values such as democracy, human rights, rules of law. And in addition to that, I noticed that we have the result of similar characters of people. And uh, we Japanese are relatively shy. And you, Lithuanians, are also relatively shy. Yeah? And then, in addition to that, during my stay here in Lithuania, I was welcomed to any place in Lithuania with big hospitality. And we Japanese, are uh, also the, uh, the, uh, proud to be back, uh, to have the big hospitality. So I think that uh, there are the very, very, very similar characters uh, between Japanese and Lithuanian, shyness and hospitality. And what is it exactly about Lithuania that you think is most attractive to East Asia, to Japanese and yourself as well? Okay. First of all, when Japanese hear about the name of Lithuania, most of all Japanese think about Sugihara, a former Japanese consul in Kaunas, because that, uh, we Japanese learned a lot about Sugihara's activity in Kaunas. And in addition, that quite recently, that uh, uh, Lithuania became more and more popular among Japanese ladies because of that uh, you created a very that, uh, high level of handcrafts, such as linen goods or some that are woven, some that are products. Could you tell me briefly what kind of events will the Japanese embassy organize for the summer and the fall? I'm pleased to introduce because this year, especially in summer, we will organize the uh, uh, Ikebana flower arrangement uh, demonstration and workshop. And also we will that organize the taiko performance. Taiko is Japanese traditional uh, drums. And in uh, autumn, the, we will organize the uh, doll dance show. And doll dance show is very unique because it's dated with a tradition and also that uh, modern music. So I am very happy to show this uh, door dance here in Kaunas. Do you have any messages or advice for these young people or pe perhaps on how they could contribute to strengthening the ties between East and Lithuania, between Japan and Lithuania? I am pleased to reply on this question because you, you are state, you students at the East Asia Center are our assets <laughs> because that uh, you play that a very big role in connecting with uh, uh, Japan and then not only that, that, that as of today but there is a big future for you because uh, during my that uh, 
lecture, I emphasize we have big potential to increase uh, the economic relations. That there are that uh, uh, Jap uh, there are that uh, big need to uh, request your uh, the contribution uh, in improving, increasing that these economic relations. We are relying on you um, uh, to con uh, to help us uh, in uh, in increasing the uh, economic and the uh, relations between Japan and Lithuania. Pakalbinome ir Vilniaus universiteto Konfucijos instituto atstovė Bao Shuyan. And, uh, our Confucius institution has been established for more than, uh, more than three years. And we organized all kinds of uh, culture events, not only language uh, teaching. In fact, we have uh, different language uh, courses for students. And uh, summer, uh, this summer we, uh, we decide to organize uh, another summer camp uh, to China. And we, the students uh, study in Confucian Institute, uh, they could have opportunity to join this uh, camp uh, to China, not uh, only to Beijing and also uh, just uh, to Liaoning University. In fact, uh, for a lot of foreigners, uh, they believe uh, Chinese language is uh, so hard to learn because it's uh, totally different from your language, right? And uh, now how to say? Uh, anyway, this is a challenge uh, for students, uh, for foreign students. Uh, but uh, if you, uh, firstly, if you have interest, uh, if you have a friends around you, he can speak uh, Chinese, uh, and uh, maybe you can talk with each other very often. Now, talking is the uh, first, uh, and listening is important. Maybe then you can learn how to write. Uh, yes, maybe write uh, Chan writing Chinese character and uh, is uh, difficult, the most difficult for you. But uh, you think uh, this is uh, just uh, like, uh, uh, how to say, it is full of meaning. If you know more about it, maybe you have a more interest in it. So you should understand more about our Chinese uh, character. Have a lot of meanings there. Patirtime dalinosi Lietuvos Kuan Un Zen budistinės bendruomenės atstovas Alvidas Turskis, visuomenininkai Andrius Pukis ir Adomas Lapinskas, bei Azijos šalise studijavusi Agnė Zabulionytė. Sąlygas ir vienas iš būdų taip pertikti ir komunikuoti ir apatyti, apneiti per nu, kažkokius oficialius institucinius rėmus, bet apatyti ir taip pertikti simbolinės metodės.